ears gonna hear me Through the spirit we see clearly They swinging that you get near me Now your boy blowing the trumpet I used to pull up and dump it Toting them guns out in public Riding on off, that was fun shit Boy, I don't flex for the IG Wanna go strip a strip, nigga, try me Keep a scallop, but he right beside me To break the laws of God, I like that First and foremost, want to give a call hello, Yahweh, yeah, by Hashem HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai. It's all praise to the Most High, the Heavenly Father, in the name of His only begotten Son, who wrote and nearly called Jesus Christ, with a Sakari out in the Bay Area, here to preach deliverance and prosperity and salvation to the total tribes of Israel, and destruction and death to all heathens, especially in America, aka Babylon the Great, man. And that's, that's what it's all about. It's all about balance today, man. Balance is good. That's how the Most High judges things, that's how the Most High sees things. That's what I'm going to to execute things in the earth. And that's how we got to live our life for the most part. We can't be all the way, you know, uh, on the left-hand side of the spectrum or all the way to the right-hand side. We got to walk a perfect line down the middle. We're allowed to be mean. We're allowed to be rude. We're allowed to, you know, quote-unquote, curse people, what to say. We're allowed to be, you know, uh, uplifting. We're allowed to build people up. We're allowed to bring people down and do the same thing. But the main thing is being a righteous. That's what you have to be uh, uh, more than anything. You can't be unbalanced and say you're righteous and do the opposite of it. But uh, read this real quick. Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Most High, uh -huh. but a just weight is his delight. A just weight is the Most High's delight, and an abomin a false balance is an abomination. That's what we're going into in this lesson. But uh, read this. Can you give me um, a lot. Yeah. Give me a... Uh, Jeremiah 16 and 14 and 18. Give me uh, this one. Proverbs 20 and 23. Diverse weights are an abomination unto the Lord. Diverse weights are an abomination to the Lord. We just read a just weight is his delight. In the very same chapter, or assume the very same uh, book, Proverbs, it says that diverse weights are an abomination to the Most High. What does that mean? Something that's off balance. There's pennies on this scale in a. In a uh, basically bricks on another scale. It's not balanced right. It's too much on one side. That's what the most I was referring to. Go ahead. And a false balance is not good. A false balance is not good. An abomination isn't good. A false balance is not good. It's synonymous in itself. And that's how we got to view things in, in, in the society as well because they try to make sure, they try to infiltrate our societies with uh, through music, through TV shows, things like that. Try to infiltrate cartoons and their school system with all type of homosexual acts, things like that. That's a false balance according to God because first and foremost, it's an abomination outside of uh, uh, just being a sick, disgusting act, just in general. But the laws that God says homosexuality is an abomination, pedophilia is an abomination, lesbian is an abomination, BCL is an abomination. But guess what? The white man who is Esau, the Edomite, the devil the Bible speaks of, he pushes that worldwide because he wants to control the population and make sure people are freaks and sick in their head like they are, man. But it's our archivist to live that type of lifestyle. Anyways, uh, so like, give me second is three and thirty-four. You give me this. Jeremiah sixteen and fourteen. Uh -huh. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Most High, uh -huh. that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Exactly. So when this second Exodus comes in America, it's like it's going to be taken up in chariots, so we're going to be that number, they like the one third. They're going to get beamed up like they say in Star Trek. And be above the permanent while this place gets destroyed by permanent destroyer. What's that? Not you. That's right. You won't be. You'll be beamed up. You're gonna be. You're gonna be pegged with a with a missile, man. Right. You're gonna be pegged with a missile. If you die before that day, you're gonna wake up in a, with a chain around your neck. You see? Where are you from, man? What's your nationality? Cuban and white. What's your father? Uh, okay, I gotta figure that. You're, you're an Edomite. No problem. Now, your father's white, though, right? Yeah, but he's German and white, and my mom's from Havana. So. Okay, but, but who, who, if you plant a seed in the ground, what's what's going to sprout up? Whatever you plant, right? Whatever, you plant. whatever seed. So your father has a seed, your mother is the ground, correct? Exactly. So that means your father. It's German and whatever you said it was. Planted a seed in your mother. That means you're white. There's no, no, you're white. You're 100% white. You're 100% white, sir. What's your last name? What's that? 
what that is, huh? I, I, I'm not familiar with that. Uh, it's Native American. How, it's Native American? Yes, sir. Is your father Native American? Yes, sir. Did he pay for that heritage? No. Is your grandfather Native American? Yes. From where? What tribe? From the Sioux, Sioux Dakota. Dakota? Dakota, Sioux Dakota. Okay. Well, I'm Native American, bro. So why do you say your father's white then? If, he's Native, if your grandfather's Native American? Listen, we, we got to make up your mind here. You just said you were white. Right, I'm white, but look how white, how white Listen, am I? Listen, we're not we're not talking about your skin tone. We're talking about your your nationality. What you mean? Uh, you're, 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 you're confusing. I'm, I'm Native American and Cuban. You said you said that way later. I, I'm Dominican. I'm Dominican. So you're Dominican. We I'm Dominican. From Africa. What's that? From Africa. Everybody comes from, from Africa. Africa right? I'm, from no, I'm from Israel. I'm from Israel. You're full of shit, bro. I'm from Israel. <laughs> no, you're full of it. I robbed the Hebrews. Right, right. You say you robbed the Hebrews? How you do that? Because you're white. You're a devil. That's right. What, that's what white people do. No, Devils rob and white. steal. That's what you do. You, you probably bought a five dollar ticket to become a Native Indian. It's like your father. Just like your grandfather. That's yeah, right. double. What's that? Native American and Cuban. So you tell me I'm white? You just said you're white. You said your father's German, so which one is it? Which one is it? Can you make any mind? Is he German or is he native? You just said he was German. You ever heard of Leonard Pelt's game, bro? Who? Leonard Pelt's game? You ever heard of that? That's my uncle, bro. He been locked up for over fucking 70 years for nothing. Yeah, Leonard Pelt's game. Shot to the FBI and said, you know who is he Native American or is he white? He's Native American. Hey, he was part of the AIM movement, right? He, he was part of the, the AIM movement, right? Right? He was part of the AIM movement, right? The American Indian movement, right? That shot the FBI agents. So you're not going to come up here and say that we don't know you, man. You're the one that just said that you was German and again turned around and said you were Native, man. So what? We fresh Canadian Native, bro. You got to tell me. Now my you're uncle, French Canadian. So, hey, he could be native. He could be native, but you said you were German. You a devil, man. Right. That's what you are. That's right. You can't make up your mind. <laughs> I have no problem saying Salaki if you're a real Native American, but your spirit bears witness. It doesn't. It doesn't bear witness with us. Sorry, you right. damn devil. Now he's French Canadian Indian. Wait, wait a minute. I thought you from South Dakota. What are you talking about? It doesn't make no goddamn sense. Goddamn liar. Then you say he robs the Hebrews. Man, white people are Satan, period. Right. Where is we at, man? Damn devil don't know how to how to fix his mouth to tell the truth. Yeah, it's crazy, man. There's so many deliverance out of this place, man. So we don't have to see devils like that walking down the street, lying on his heritage, claiming that he's Native American, but five five minutes ago he said he was white. My dad's German. Okay. Then he said his last name. I'm like, okay, I don't understand what that means. Then he flipped it to Native American. Now he's from Canada instead of Sioux Dakota. Was it Midwest and some, uh, excuse me, South Dakota somewhere. It's a lot. Give me that. Uh, verse 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north uh -huh. and from the, all the lands whither he had driven them. Yeah, eventually we're going to be picked up from all of the countries, the islands, everywhere we're scattered as a nation, and we brought back to our homeland, Israel, right? And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Behold, I will send for many fishers. Right now, the Most High sent in many fishers, talking about us, bidding people to the marriage on the highways and byways, left and right, all throughout America, all throughout uh, uh, the countries that Israelites are teaching the Bible. Puerto Rico, we're in Puerto Rico, we're everywhere. Uh, uh, England, all that type of stuff. He sent it for many fishers who are fishing the people, meaning the elect, the one third, is going to repent in this time frame. But guess what? This is where the balance comes in. What else is he going to do? Read. Saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. Uh -huh. And after will I send many hunters. After those fishers come, then he's going to send many hunters. So he's going to send the wolf pack, as Bazak likes to say. Send them sharks out, man, to eat people alive, spiritually and physically. Burn them and torture them, you see? That's what's going to happen. Lord willing, will be part of that elect, doing his work. But guess what? That's for the balance I'm talking about. 
you can't just be all love and not have hate a little bit. You, you're allowed to hate heathens. You're allowed to hate abominations. You're not allowed to hate your people, but you're allowed to hate their actions that they do and tell them to repent to get right, man. Because you don't want to be on the other end of that. that, uh, that uh, uh, you don't want to be part of the, uh, when Noah's High sends them hunters, man. Chop, up, chop people's heads off. Go ahead. And they shall hunt them from every mountain uh -huh. and from every hill. Every mountain hill, every country, every state, every uh, municipality, everything on earth that Israelites are, <laughs> whoever's not part of one third in America, they're going to be hunted down, man. Right. Go ahead. And out of the holes of the rocks, uh -huh. for my eyes are upon all their ways. Most high's eyes are upon all the Israelites' ways and the heathens' ways. What side are you going to pick? That's what we're going into today. Read. They are not hid from my face, uh -huh. neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. Go ahead. And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double. You gonna do what? Recompense their iniquity and their sin double. You gonna recompense their sin and, and their iniquity double. They gonna get paid back for all the weakness they do on earth, lest they repent, man. But obviously if they don't repent, they are gonna be on the short end of the stick, getting drugged through the mud, man. Getting murdered in the streets. Like that we're doing right now, as a two-third, right? Because they have defiled my land. Uh -huh. They have de they have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of the detestable and abominable things. Exactly, that's what we're doing, spiritually and physically. Doing abominable works, teaching their children to do abominable works, doing things that they ought not, and they don't think about God, they don't cherish God, they don't want to uh, uh, get right spiritually because they think they're right in their own, right in their own eyes. And that's what's going to get them destroyed, man. Give me a... So what was he at? Second inch? Oh, yeah. Give me a Psalms 147 19. Give me this. Second Ezra chapter 3 verse 34. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance. So even though the Israelites are still going off, in this particular chapter, the angel tells Ezra, hey, we're going to get this heritage to other people. Literally other nations at this time. Ezra's begging the people, or begging the angel to tell the most high, hey, we're the ones that's keeping keeping laws for the most part, even though we're not doing it as a nation. There's still people holding up, up holding the law, being righteous in this captivity. Go ahead. And there is also that dwell in the world. Uh -huh. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. Verse, verse 35. Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? When do the Israelites have not sinned in their sight? All the people that don't know the law, obviously the uh, heathens, they have particular sins they can commit. Adultery, <laughs> some child sacrifice, things like that. Those are the things we got to be aware of because we can't commit adultery with other nations either. But at the end of the day, this is as we're talking about, hey, when is, the, when is everybody else not sin besides the Israelites? He can't answer it because like, everybody sin. Go ahead. Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Uh -huh. Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Israel by name has kept the precepts. So even though we're still going off, there's still a remnant that, uh, uh, that elect and people that aren't going to bow to the all in, in the, uh, the ancient times or today. We're still going to keep up, upholding the laws of God through the Spirit, so we're being reborn as the people that was keeping the law back then. So who's who's going who's to say that uh, this this particular uh, uh, chapter? As they're saying, hey, who's, who's, who says they keep the law besides us? Why are you going to give our heritage to somebody else? We're the ones that kept the laws and we entered a covenant with you. How can we can't get a second shot at it pretty much? And that's that's what we're into today. The second chance to get right with the most high, man. And that's where the balance comes in. Because all everybody's not going to get right. We always say somebody got to be the two-thirds. Somebody got to be the two-thirds of Israel. They got to be an example and made that burnt sacrifice and burnt alive in America, man. For not keeping laws, not trusting the Most High, not believing in the Most High, not believing in the Word of God, man. But uh, is that it? Yeah, give me um, what have you? Uh, give me uh, I think it's twenty and twenty-six. Go ahead. Uh, Psalms one forty-seven and nineteen. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise Yahweh. Exactly, praise Yahweh. Just like Ezra says, nobody's kept the commandments but the Israelites, not even the heathen, man. They want to cling to us. They want to be a part of the covenant. That's what they say. But then at the same breath, they say, oh, the laws are away with. So wait a minute. How does that work? Because the Israelites can never say that. Even though they say it today, the Israelites in their right mind and know the Bible, they can't say the covenant's done away with. 
Okay, that's the covenant we're gonna come into again. The new covenant. We're gonna keep the law perfectly. Right. So how does that work? You can't be a sinner in the new covenant either, can you? It doesn't make no goddamn sense. That's why you can't listen to damn fools, man, in the Christian church or anybody else that wants to learn on their own and not keep the laws of God, man, without that wisdom. Is that it? Give me a Ecclesiastes chapter 25. But give me that. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 26. Oh. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord, am holy. And I have severed you from other people, that ye should be mine. Okay, the Israelites were severed from other people back in the wilderness, making a covenant with the Most High, and, and uh, they had that blood sprinkled upon us. So we can keep the laws for our generations, man. Even though, like I said, most of our people aren't doing it. That's where I'm talking about the balance comes in, because everybody is not going to see what they need to do until it's too late. And when they see that, that missile come down, blow people up, hey, if you're not on a chariot, you're going to have to be born, reborn in your right mind, and then you're going to be holy at, at that particular time in the kingdom. Give right. me uh, Jeremiah 2 and 19. Lord. Give me that. Uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 25, I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom. Solomon, he inclined his heart to know, to search and seek out wisdom, read. And the reason of things, uh -huh. and to know the wickedness of folly. He wanted to seek wisdom and learn about that and know about folly, read. Even the foolishness and madness. Uh -huh. I find no I find more bitter than death the woman right. whose heart is snares and nests nets and her hands as bands whoso pleaseth God shall escape from her but the sinner shall be taken by her exactly so Solomon knew like hey there's wisdom on one end of the hand and there's wickedness and folly on one end of the hand women bring more bitterness and wickedness than wind for the most part <coughs> people want to say oh well Eve uh, uh, was the first one to go off technically they both went off the man was supposed to lead he didn't lead Eve took upon herself the course to man into eating the uh, fruit or whatever, which is a doctrine following a different doctrine, which is besides the laws of God, the breath of life that they have. Right. But they both went off. Because in the New Testament it says Adam sinned, so which one is it? But that's the size point. That's what a balance would be, like I said. The uh, 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 people that are a couple, they're supposed to uplift each other as well. The man and the woman have to be a team and become one flesh in, that, in, in their mind as well. Think alike, do things alike. And also uh, uh, serve the most high alike, man. That's what it comes down to. Give me uh, Proverbs 15 and 9 and 10. And then Give me that. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 19 to 21. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee. Thine what? Thy own wickedness shall correct thee. Thine own wickedness shall correct you, because guess what? After all these years, we're still being corrected by the most high in our captivity, man. We don't know what's up and what's down no more because we're so discombobulated by these bills, by by uh, entertainment. We don't know how to serve God outside of going to the Christian church, which is an uh, abomination and a lie. But that's why you gotta come back to the laws of the truth, which is the laws of God, man. That's where wisdom comes in. That's when the fear of the Most High takes precedent. Because when you know when you fear the Most High, hey, if I do, don't do this, the Most High really gonna judge me because I do know now. If you don't know, you get judged. You just think it's a regular everyday life. I, I think I brought it on last week talking about um, troubles basically already guaranteed to you every day. So guess what? If you don't keep the law, you're already troubled to begin with. So if you keep the law, you have more of a chance to be redeemed and have mercy throughout your day and, and live a more righteous lifestyle, man. Know that you have a, a, a daily walk you have to go into and have that on your mind on a daily basis to know, hey, I'm going to be righteous. I'm going to be holy like the most I set apart our people in the ancient world, man. Is that it? No, Go ahead. And thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God. It's an evil thing and it's bitter to me forsake the Most High, man. And that's why we get plans today, because we don't know if we're doing the evil thing by forsaking the laws and the covenant that we made with them, man. Go ahead. And that my fear is not in thee. Wait, what? And that my fear is not in thee. That's why fear is not in the Most High, man. That's the problem. We think we can get away with anything. Adultery, robbing people, murdering people. That's a cool thing to do in this time and age. You get cool points on the streets for doing that type of stuff. Right. But guess what? That work that you're doing, that, that corruption, that evil, that wickedness, you're gonna get paid back seven for it at the end of the day. You might go to jail for the rest of your life. You might die on the spot. <laughs> you might get gunned down by somebody else. Go ahead. Say if the Lord God of hosts. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, G, you know the routine, man. Right. Go ahead. Verse 20. For of all time I have broken thy yoke, and burst thy bands, 
and thou said it, I will not transgress. We said we have not transgressed, read. When, when upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest, playing the harlot. Playing the harlot, committing all type of abominations with idols, uh, different quote unquote holidays in this country. We're playing the harlot by not serving God in truth and sincerity. That's what, go ahead. Verse 21. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine. Most I planted us a noble vine. Way back in the wilderness, he separated us from other nations, chose us how to keep the laws, told us how to be perfect and holy. But guess what? We, we, we planted him a noble vine initially, but guess what? Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. Uh -huh. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? How did this individual turn to a strange vine unto the most high? Now, by playing the harlot, <coughs> looking out at other nations, trying to be like them, wanting the king and then forsaking the king and then obviously separating as a people from northern kingdom and southern kingdom, warring against each other, enslaving each other, all type of wickedness, man, all type of madness, because we forsook the laws of God all the way back in the wilderness, right after we got delivered, man. That's why the most high is like, hey, I'm not even going to save the whole nation initially no more. I'm going to save a remnant. And at 7,000, or excuse me, uh, 7,000, which is a complete number of men that are going to that are going to falter and are going to keep being regenerated, perfect in the mind, in their spirit, and teach other people to do the same thing. Is that it? That's it, right? Cut. Yeah, give me that. 9 and 10 and jump to 16. And you give me Proverbs 29 and 18. Go ahead. Proverbs 15, 9. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord. The wicked is, is an abomination just like being unbalanced is. And that's how you know wisdom is more on the on a, a, a right, right hand side, wickedness on the left hand side. So with, that's a balance you gotta uh, have an economy and know which one to choose, right? But he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. He loveth who? Him that followeth after righteousness. The most high loves him that follows after righteousness. So righteousness is what? Keeping the laws of God, being holy, loving your neighbor as yourself, right? Loving the Most High first and foremost. Go ahead. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. Correction is grievous unto him that forsakes the way, which is keeping the laws. Read. And he that hateth reproof shall die. He that does what? Hateth reproof shall die. So if you come into the prophets of God, man, with smooth madness and rhetoric that a Christian church taught you or some commission taught you or some Arab taught you, that you don't want to be corrected, hey, eventually you're going to die if you don't get right. That's how. It, that's what it comes down to. Straight out of the, the, uh, the word of God, man. Is that it? Oh, jump to 16, read. Verse 16. Better is little with the fear of Yahweh than great treasure and trouble with their wit. Great is little, little fear of Yahweh and basically being uh, 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 at a low estate if somebody has riches and doesn't fear the most high at all. That's why I'm wishing nothing because what does it say also in Proverbs? Riches don't profit in a day of wrath, man. You can't buy yourself out of that, out of that judgment. Uh, give me that, and you give me uh, Proverbs 14 and 15. Go ahead. Proverbs 29 and 8 in the New Living Translation. Mockers can get a whole town ag agitated. Mockers can get a whole town agitated. That's what we see on a daily basis out here, man. Bug outs coming up here, try to speed their rhetoric, not knowing a damn thing about the Bible, proclaim themselves to be a, a Cuban and a, a Native American, but at the end of the day, he, he says he's from, uh, his dad's German, so... Uh, Bugging the hell out. That's how a person get a whole crowd agitated. Especially the crowd of Israelites that know what's going on. Bugging the hell out, man. Go ahead. But the wise will calm anger. With what? Read that again. But the wise will calm anger. But the wise will calm anger. So people come up here and try to uh, coerce us into believing what they believe. We're not going to go with it. Like I said, any day, we start with the Bible, the laws of God, and we can filter everything through that. But we can calm anger by, by simply talking to them, uh, uh, recognizing where they're coming from. And obviously steering them in the right direction, saying, hey, the reason why you feel that way, more likely because you probably don't know who you are. Secondly, you're going through emotions, uh, afflictions, things like that. And the reason why you're doing it is because you don't know, keep the laws of God. You don't know your heritage. That's what it comes down to, man. And even then, you still might go through affliction because the most likely going to test you and test you if you're going to be right in the spirit. Uh, is that it? Oh, my bad. Uh, I just get one verse. So like, give me... um. Please, uh, Sirach 42 and 8. Go ahead. Uh, Proverbs 14 and 15. The simple believeth every word. The simple believeth every word. That's a problem. That's not a balance, man. That's a false balance. You can't believe every word in America. Thinking you're going to get some type of wisdom, watching TV, a program, 
that's infiltrated through uh, these uh, uh, quote unquote. What's that? Yeah, the media, uh, the media's already bought and paid for. The media's already bought and paid for before you wake up every morning, man. The newspapers, uh, any type of internet blog, whatever the case may be. All type of stuff is already manufactured for you to have an emotional response to. Thinking, oh, I, I got to get a, a, a vaccine to, to get rid of the COVID uh, uh, virus. No, 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 no. It made no damn sense. Newsflash, people that take the COVID vaccine still got COVID virus. Right. And that's a fact. They're still passing it around. Exactly. They're still passing it around. It's crazy. And people are dying left and right still to this day from the damn uh, uh, COVID vaccine, man. Why is that? There's four different variants of it. I don't know how they did that. How they come up with four different variants from four different companies all at one time? Hey, man. Who's... We don't need that, man. We don't need the theatrics. I'm going to edit that part out. But anyways. <laughs> uh, that, that's what you call unbalanced, man. Believe in every word that the white man says. Hey, come get this COVID vaccine. Come get a free donut and get a shot in your arm. <laughs> Is that enough? Man, please. You kidding me? I'll get my own donut, man. <laughs> I bet you if they offered us some tickets to the Bad Bunny concert, they would be, they would be there, bro. You know, they, they started, they knew how to get janked. They was like, you get the COVID vaccine, we'll give you some free weed. Like, I, I promise you, they, they put that on the internet. You can get free weed for getting attacked with vaccine. Like, wow, bro. It's, it's, it's insane. It's insane how simple our people are, man. It's crazy. The simple belief of every word, man. And that is not balanced at all. Like, you should be... You, just scientifically alone, you know, there's no way in hell that any type of medical facility or any type of government structure, no matter how much, uh, 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 what's it called, uh, technology they have or information they have, there's no way you can make up a vaccine in less than a year. Right. No way. It doesn't make no goddamn sense, man. They still haven't come with a, a vaccine for the vi uh, HIV and uh, 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 what's another one they have? Um, What's an incurable disease? Syphilis is curable, but they say it's not. Everything's pretty much curable, but I'm just saying this is the main uh, uh, mainstream viruses that people want to claim, uh, yeah, herpes and things like that, gonorrhea. Only things are pr pretty much preventable, but incurable, but it makes it seem that way because they created the HIV virus in the 80s. This is facts. Fort Detrick, Maryland, I believe it's a dude named Dr. Gallo I read about. It. But in the early 80s, he created the vaccine or the uh, HIV virus. Hey man, you want some camera time, man? What's going on, man? Where are you from? What, what, what you waiting at the camera for, man? What's up, man? What's that? What's up, man? What is it? I'm sorry? What's up, man? What is it? Where, where are you from, man? I'm San Francisco, Puerto Rico. You, what's your nationality? Huh? What's your nationality? Nicaragua. Nicaragua? Yeah. Hey, you're an Israelite, man. You believe in the Bible? Huh? You believe in the Bible? I believe in Jesus. You believe in Jesus? You believe in the Bible? Yeah, I believe in Jesus. You believe in the Bible? Of course. What do you, do you believe in? So Jesus is found in the Bible, right? What's wrong with Jesus? I didn't say anything about that. Is that Jesus? No. Is that Jesus right there? That picture? Right there. Right here. Is that Jesus right there? That one? Yeah, is that him? That's the devil. You're right. Right. You're yeah, absolutely right, sir. All oh, praise to the most high. The white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. Jesus was a man of color, a melanated man. Just like yourself. You're a little melanated. You're from Nicaragua, right? That's what. Uh, yeah, Nicaragua. Hey, I was born and raised in Francisco. That's good, man. We're, we're, we're here to tell you that you're an Israelite. And you're a child of God. You're right. a saint. And you need to repent and keep the laws of God. You understand that? Yeah, but how can I want a mask, man? What do I need a mask for? For what? Perfection. From what? From, 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 from anything. From anything? What are you wearing a mask for? Dude, there's this, there's this uh, thing going around. What thing? Can you explain? The, the, the thing. What is it? Like a, uh, some the type COVID. of flu? The COVID. COVID? You're afraid of COVID? Well, I'm, a, I'm afraid of God. I'm not afraid of no... Right! Virus. That's right. Right! I'm not, I'm not worried about no virus. Man. Listen, I, I fear Jesus, okay? I fear the most high. Right! I don't fear any virus. That's a fact. That's right. 
Do you, do you know the statistics on this, the, uh, the, COVID, the COVID information? Just like that. Do you know people are recovering at an almost 99% rate from getting COVID and recovering from that? So what's the mask going to do? The most deadliest virus in a, in a five dollar mask is going to protect you? Is that what's going on? Well, I mean, I mean, if, if somebody's going to seize, seize on you. What's that to do with anything? Is a mask going to protect you from that? Yeah, germs. You can get germs from do anything now. Right. You can get germs from touching the doorknob. You, have, you don't have gloves on. Have you been touching poles and, you know, bus stops every, every so often? I'm a bus driver. You're, oh, wow. So you're touching somebody else's germs on the steering wheel, right? All, all the money you take, everything, that, all the thing on the rails that you're touching around that stuff, you're surrounded by people. 20 years. 20 years on the bus? Hey, man. You'll be retired soon, man. But we're not afraid of any, any phantom virus up here. Right. That's, that's not it. We fear the most high that created everything. Right. All right, man. Repent, man. That, that's what we need to do. That's right. That mask is going to do a damn thing for you, man. The most high call your number. He'll put a plug on you at night while you sleep. That's right. Let's get up. You see? Just get Anyways, up. where is we at, man? Where is we at? Uh, Hebrews 12, 1. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh. Well, to it's going. That's exactly what happened, man. The Honduran believes every word. Louis on TV, wear a mask. I mean, he works for him, so he probably got to do it anyway. But outside of that, he's not working. What are we wearing masks for? I might do it just for the formality of it because I want to buy something and patronize somebody's business. But other than that, I'm not wearing no goddamn mask, man. Right. There's no point. If I get COVID, which I had COVID a while ago, it felt a little weird. I'm, I got over it. I'm keeping moving. Like, what's the problem? I'm not going to die from no goddamn COVID. Right. I know the most I ain't going to have me die from that. I'm doing the work of the Lord, man. You see? But anyways, let's get back to this. Yeah, but that is a proven point. Perfect timing. That dude was simple and blues everywhere on TV. Same thing I was just talking about. That's how the most I manifest, manifest people through the spirit and come up here and make themselves look like fools. Right. And an example for the people that's watching to don't be like him, man. Don't be like that person. Go ahead. A wise man feareth and departed from evil. That's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to fear God and depart from evil. Not fear a, a, a COVID virus, man. Right. Fear, fear the most high and depart from wickedness, which is sinning against the Lord, man. That's what he's supposed to do. Read. But the fool rage it. The fool rage it, read. And is confident. And is confident. He's confident in being foolish and being in, uh, enraged, being blind to the facts, thinking he's no, he's a know-it-all, read. He that is soon angry dealeth foolishly, uh -huh. and a man of wicked devices is hated. A man of wicked devices is hated. That's how you know people that so wickedness are hated by other people, man. Right. That's why most people, like I said before, when you run in the streets, dealing with uh, street politics, things like that, when you're on the opposite side of that, like, man, this dude out here selling drugs and murdering people, I don't want him near my son. He despise that person. We got to when you're in it and you're in the mix of rubbing shoulders with dying people, you think it's cool. Oh, man, he did this yesterday. Look, he got this woman's, uh, got this dude's girl, like all that type of stuff. You get cool points from it, but at the end of the day, it's still wickedness, and the most high is not going to forgive you for it unless you repent, man. And you want, you want your sins purged in these last days. Go ahead. The simple inherit folly. Right. Simple inherit folly, right? But the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Who are crowned with knowledge? No, I'm Judah. Yeah. What's going on, brother? Hey, that's your name. Yeah. Okay, so what, what would be your nationality today? I can do it. Are you familiar with the Israelites, brother? Are you familiar with the Israelites already? Huh? You say you're familiar with the Israelites? No. Your name is Judah? Yeah. You know it's in the Bible, right? Yeah. That's, you know your mom named you after that? Yeah. That's cool. That's your son. That's powerful, man. So, yeah, let me get that real quick. Give me that Genesis 49 real quick. What, you, you, you can take yourself an African American? What, what, what's your father? African American? I like that fit too. That's clean. I ain't gonna lie. That's a clean little, little track suit, man. Give me that. Genesis chapter 49, verse 9. Judah, oh, verse 8, it's like it. Judah, thou art, he, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. So this is a prophecy about Jacob and his 12 sons. He's gonna tell them about what's gonna happen in the last days. You don't believe in the Bible, right? Yes. Okay, you go to church and all anything like that? I believe that there are scriptures in the Bible that's real, and yeah. I believe also that man made man made the Bible, and they so, took out parts that are that are supposed to be in the 
Well, we we actually um, I, I can remember the first part. Obviously, everything was written by men, but there is basically. Well, we had those things though. It's right here. It's right here. This book, the Apocrypha. It's the Apocrypha. That's what we took out. The fourteen books. It's supposed to go in between the Old and New Testament per se, quote unquote. The, the, this is the book right here. There's eighty books in the Bible, and if you re, if you research like the Dead Sea Scrolls or the Greek Septuagint, which are the manuscripts that was used to translate into English, you will see there's eighty books instead of sixty six that the Christian Church you know puts in their pulpits. Right. So that's just simple information you can look up, and it's, it's, it's actually right here. So it's not necessarily that they took out. They took out later on because there was an agenda in, in, in reference to that. Because there's information in this in this passage that proves who the Gentiles are in the New Testament, right. who are also Israelites as well. Right. But back to the main point, you being a so-called African American, you be from the tribe of Judah. You see this sign right here? This is at the very top. African Americans are considered from, from the tribe of Judah, which in the Bible are, are the, the king's lineage, King David, King Solomon. Those are kings of the, of the, of the nation of Israel. David's lineage. So. Judah is what you're talking about right here. This is fully got as a nation of Israel. This is a prophecy about the, the tribe of Judah. Go ahead. Verse 8 from the top. Judah, thou art he who he whom thy brethren shall praise. Who your brethren shall praise. So when you're a king, if you're in the top tribe, somebody will come to you and commend you. Hey, brother, you, you, you're a man up here. And I fast forward, what, 2021? Judahites are where? In the NBA, in the NFL. Every African American you see, you're getting praised for their talents. Their music ability, dancing ability, cooking ability. Why? Because God blessed the tribe of Judah to be, hey, these people are the best of the best. Athletically, musically, like I said, all this episode. You just playing to see, turn on TV. Oh man, he jumped out of the gym. He, he threw that football 70 yards. He run as fast as, as a deer. That's, that's just a plain, simple thing you can observe. But keep reading. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemy. What do you think that's what you're talking about? Read, read that again. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. What does that have to do with it? Can you, can you give it a guess? If, if, the enemy at that? No, no, no. Read that slow. Verse from the top. Judah. Okay. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. So if we, if we can observe people doing things today as far as the tribe of Judah being athletic, being musically talented, being uh, good dancers, things like that, actors, things like that. If we can transfer that information today, if you're in the if you're in the hand of your enemies, what does that have to do? Oh, you're in the hand. You're in the hand of your enemy. Oh, you sold out. No, no, no. It's talking about you being in your enemy's land. How is African Americans brought here to America? It's slavery, right? Yeah. That's what it's talking about. You're in the you're in the hand of your enemy because you you don't have control over your own. Uh, uh, you're not in your own uh, sovereign land. You gotta abide by some else's rules, right? That's what it's talking about. The, the whole tribe of Judah was taken over from West Africa to the Americas, and they're being subject to the quote unquote enemies, uh, was his so called, uh, so -called white man. Right. He's an enemy. Would you Would you agree? Would you agree that the white man is the, the black man's enemy right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Oh, oh, I mean, yeah. It's the eyes of the spirit. Yeah. You can't, that's, not, that's not even deniable. Yeah. Without the Bible, I can say, Sorry, hey. I'm deaf in this okay, so, brother. So I get, brother. It's all good, brother. I, I, can, I can repeat anything if necessary, but let's keep reading. Let's see what else we can decipher from this and apply to today, right? Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Father's children shall bow down before thee. Like I said, you guys are the king of tribe. People go into the NBA, give praise for their talents. That's the same thing as bowing down to them. Hey, I'm going to get this jersey. I'm going to cheer for him. I'm going to buy the autograph. I'm going to watch all his games, all that type of stuff. That's a form of worship in a sense. Not necessarily idolatry, but enjoying what they do for you. The entertainment factor. Go ahead. Uh, verse 9. Judah is a lion's whelp. Judah is a lion's whelp. So that's, that's your, your tribal uh, uh, animal per se. A lion. A lion's whelp. The king of the jungle, right? So Judah is the king of the nation of Israel. Read. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He couched as a lion. And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? Crouches as a lion. And as an old lion, who's going to rouse him up? So you, you guys being behind enemy lions, the picture guys in a docile state of mind. Oh man, God loves everybody now. We're a rainbow coalition. The white man's not the enemy anymore. That was your slavery all those years ago. We're, we're getting property jobs left and right. We're entertainers now. We're getting money. So guess what? As a whole, you at your level, you wouldn't say you're prospering, right? 
work at 95 check to check. But people that sell out, like you said before, right? They get the big bucks because guess what? Behind closed doors, they probably doing crazy stuff to get that money. If you're familiar with it, I don't gotta go into detail, but guess what? If you're an old lion, what you gonna do? You're not ready to fight at the, at the drop of a dime. Somebody coming to your tour. You watching the National Geographic anything like that? Discovery Channel? Yeah. You're familiar with lions and their territory, right? They go around their, their, their pride, spring, you know, uh, uh, their uh, sit on certain things, and it's my territory. But if you're a real lion, guess what? A young lion coming to your territory, you might bite you off. But now you by yourself. He kills your, your, uh, your young. He brings with your, your uh, wise things like that. And then you're out of there, you're into the to win by yourself now. That's what it's talking about. The black man in America is docile. He's not ready to fight, he's not ready to live, man. All these police killers, guess what? There's a couple people that kick up this every now and then. And as a whole, we're not, we're not gonna fight these white men because that's what we can't do, first and foremost. We don't have the military, right? We don't have the coordination. We're all, we're fighting against each other. We're killing each other, first and foremost. That's a, that's a play to, to our people. And that's what we're talking about. We're docile. We're, we're so docile that somebody can kill somebody right in front of us, and we're not gonna do a damn thing about it. Right. True. That, that, that's what we're talking about. The old line. Who's gonna rouse up Judah? Who's gonna rouse up this whole line now? God don't have to do it. It's not to be something spiritual in your mind. But you gotta know what's going on to see it. And I, I'm, I'm not stop by, like I said, you don't have to go to church to learn the Bible. Nothing, nothing you're gonna learn, I would teach right now, you're gonna learn the church. Right. And through the Spirit, your mom names you Judah because that's who you are. Right. You're from the tribe of Judah, the head tribe. You're, you're from the king of enemies, more likely. That's right. Keep reading. Verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. The scepter shall not depart from you, so there's not gonna be any other kings. Outside of the tribe of Judah, that's what it's talking about, right? Nor a lawgiver from between his feet uh -huh. until Shiloh come. Until Shiloh come. We this word up in the Hebrew because the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. Shiloh means what? Tranquility, peace. The man of peace is talking about the world calls Christ. It's a prophecy about Jesus, right? And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. So we're not going to be gathering until Jesus Christ comes back and returns. That's one of the main things Christians talk about. We talk about it as well because it's true. It's in the Bible. Everybody thinks. Christ is coming back to save everybody, but that's not true either. He's only coming back to save the elected one third of the nation of Israel. We can prove that in the Bible as well. But this is the main point I wanted to make. Through the Spirit, your name is Judah, from the tribe of Judah. Your your promise, your promise that is bound to be a leader. Knowing who you are is, is, is part of the part of the uh, solution to get out of this place. Right. And our job is, as as young men in, in in this world, as far as living our everyday life, is to serve God. We can do, we can work a regular job, we can date, whatever the case may be, but there's, there's stipulations that God puts in place that we have to follow. We have to fear God before a man, would you agree? Would you agree, right? That, that, that's absolutely right, brother. And you fear God by doing what? That's the start, that's great. What else? What else? Give me that in First John. Where you at? Uh, nah, give me that in First John. I'm gonna give you a couple more. I don't know what time you got, but I'm gonna give you a few more if you, if you want to listen. Uh, sorry. I gotta go. Yeah, let, let me give you this last one. Let me give you this last one. Uh, read. First All right, sit so down. Give me a. Sit so down. Read it to that. Mm, two or four. Is that it? Go back to that. Yeah. Go ahead. First John 5 and 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. We love God, he keeps his commandments. Where you find the commandments at? The first five books of Moses, people want to say is done away with them. They say that in the church every day, but guess what? <laughs> if you fear God, you keep his commandments. That's what Christ said, said as well. Go ahead, let me read this last one. Psalms 110 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding, standing, help all they that do his commandments. His praise endure forever. Fear the God, keep his commandments. That's the bottom line. Did you get your flyer? Yep. Yeah, but we on YouTube. There's thousands of videos. I don't know if you come back here. We're every Saturday. But every, all the information is on the YouTube channel. 
all the topics you can ever think of, our numbers on there. If you have any questions, brother, definitely appreciate your time, Judah. Hey, man. All praise to the most high, man. Yes, sir. Y'all be smooth. All praise to the most high. Judah from the tribe of Judah. Learn his heritage through the spirit. That's right.